so this may just look like a dom access uh, video or episode but uh, this might be going to be like you know a two or three part series where i'm gonna teach you how you can use the xss to bypass the csrf protection so in the next episode or the other or the following one i'm i'm gonna teach you how to write a script where you can uh, steal the csrf token so even if the application has a csrf protection you can easily bypass it using the cross-site scripting and and we're gonna mix uh, we're gonna use the xss plus csrf and and see how it works in the real world uh before uh we go that route so in this episode i'm gonna just show you how the dom xss attack works or or how the uh, cross-site scripting work this is probably like you know for the beginners but i want to uh, teach you that so later on when we uh, teach like you know learn about the bypassing the csr protection using the xss you have the idea what i'm gonna do so let me uh, jump on to the browser so this is a simple script which i have wrote and it says like you know welcome to cyber security tv and then you uh, give your name and it's gonna uh, print your like you know thanks for logging in and you can see the source here so this is the cyber security tv uh, here is the little script and then thanks for logging in now what we uh, so here let, let's suppose like uh, if you have if you are reviewing any client side code or let's say burp told you that this page might be vulnerable to XSS. So how, how would you go about finding it? So the way I usually I do is uh, I look at the source and the sync. So here, of course, the sync is uh, this one because it says document.write.user. So whatever the information uh, we have in this parameter, it's going back to the uh, client, right, browser. And, and I'm not going to go into deep, too deep in, on what is the DOM XSS versus reflected and stored XSS, right? I'm assuming you guys know about that. So let's let's see where do we get the user value from. So here user value gets like from the documented URL the substring username. So here we are calling this username and we are getting the index of like name plus five. So after this five characters, whatever is the name, we are extracting that, putting in the username. We are unescaping that and writing back to the page. That is how uh, this page works. So in order to exploit or whenever you are exploiting, so uh, of course, like, you know, the simple value would be name is equal to hello. Uh, Bob, let's just say that, right? So it's a hello, welcome to cybersecurity TV, Bob. Now, same thing, what you can also do is you can uh, exploit this by putting the, because we saw that there is no uh, as such protection against the injection attack so here if i put like a simple actually i can also put hello from ethical hacking right and of course uh, we're gonna see this pop up because what we uh, what we saw here is uh, whatever the input we gave it stored into the username. Uh, then we are unescaping. Uh, this is like completely optional part. If you have any uh, single code or something, it's gonna escape. But th there is no real protection here, and then it's gonna write it back to the user. So this is the simplest way. Uh, like you can when you're looking at the burp results of any scanning. You want to observe the source and the sync and you go line by line and determine if there is any protection that the application has uh, which will invalidate our script tags or, or any special characters if they do not then uh, then it's an easy way for anyone to exploit this right now this was a very very basic uh, basic episode so of course uh, you might have you might have already know about this dom access but what i really want to uh, teach you is in the following episode which is going to be very very interesting when we combine the dom access with the uh, and not the dom access like any access you can use it and combine with the csrf because oftentimes what i've seen is application has csrf protection and like you know there's and and we we say that okay there's no way to exploit because it it gives the random csrf token 
but it's still completely bypassable if you find like a sliders of cross-site scripting in that application. So we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to write the script, how to steal the token, how to, uh, like you know, once you steal the token, how do you uh, even uh, post the page using that stolen token and, and submit the page as well? So uh, and trick the user. So we'll we'll do the entire exercise uh, from end to end, and and we'll see how it works. But that's it for now. Uh, thank you so much. Look out for the next episode, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.